Hi everyone, welcome to the Essence of Life. This is a Virgo reading for all signs. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs, also cross watchers as well. Thank you all for watching. So we have messages here from the Romance Angels to outline this reading. We've got unrequited love, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. And very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Lovely. So let's get some tarot. Tap into the energies surrounding your current situation. So I do remember energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. There's no gender in tarot. It's all just energies. So please take the messages as it resonates for you and your situation. So we've got a three card spread. And it's giving us a seven of cups, king of wands and ten of swords. So we'll dig a bit deeper and clarify the hangman eight of pentacles five of swords further clarified with the knight of cups nine of pentacles and knight of swords okay further messages as well from the oracle deck communicate clearly let go and ask your angels right yeah, so um, this situation, this reading is showing uh, a situation uh, that you have with someone or a situation that you have let go of, rather, because we have got let go. Yeah, but um, this situation is coming back. I mean, they want to... <laughs> They want to come back and reconcile. Yeah. King of Wands could be dealing with someone that has fire in their chart. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also got Knight of Cups here. Water Energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. We also got Knight of Swords. That's air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So, um, yeah, I've, this I can see this is someone that wants to take action towards you here. Knight of Swords. This is someone that wants to come in and seize the moment. Yeah, they're ready to go for it. They're in that King of Wands energy. Yeah, we got very soon. Very soon. So, yeah, I mean, this person, they clearly want to open up here. This is someone that hasn't opened up before. They're yet to open up and, and express how they really feel. Because we've got the Knight of Cups in reverse. I feel like this is someone that holds back. Yeah, this is someone that holds back. It looks like um, this was a difficult situation. This connection was just difficult. I mean, this is someone that I feel caused a lot of pain. This person caused a lot of pain here in your life. Ten of Swords. For some of you, I mean, this person... I feel like trying to deal with this person was just hard work, you know? <laughs> yeah, and it's like the more you tried with them, the more they just stabbed you in your back, you just felt like. But for some of you, you really tried with this person. This could have been going on for like 10, 10 years, 10 of swords. This could be like 10 years for some of you. 10 months, 
10 weeks or even 10 days. But every time you tried, you'll get a sword in your back. Like this person just kept pushing you away, you know. And it just came to that point where enough was enough. There was an ending, Ten of Swords, you, you, that was it. There's, there was a last straw. And you pull back. I can see you pull back here. You withdrew your energy. You stopped giving to this situation. You stopped trying. Because every time you did try, you get a sword in your back. You know, this person just kept pushing you away. They would do things or say things. Or in this case, not say things. <laughs> you know, they, it's like the way they treated you. Yeah. It was too much. Ten of Swords, I mean, you just had to pull back. You just had to pull back your energy. You stopped trying. You had to protect your energy. And your mental state as well, I'm hearing. And emotional state. Yeah, this is why we got let go. This is why that message came out. So it says... The time has come to let go of this situation. Stop focusing on how or when it will be solved or even why it, it occurred. Relationships that are unhealthy or unfulfilling should be released in order to allow something better to come along. Don't worry, Source and your angels have everything under control. Yeah. It had to be released, yeah, Un unhealthy and unfulfilling situation. So, Ten of Swords came out in reverse. So, I feel like, you know, you've you've come to this place of healing now, you know. You've healed from this situation. You pull back your energy and you focused on yourself here, Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, some of you may have started your own business or, you know, you're just working on your career, and, yeah, you're at this place, you're at a point in, in your life where your hard work is paying off. I mean, this is success and abundance here. Prosperity. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, you've healed from the situation. But the thing is, now that you've healed, now this person wants to come in. Now this person wants to come in here. Because I feel like this person really feels like they have missed a major opportunity with you. Five of Swords. In reverse. Yeah, this was someone that was playing games. They manipulated the situation. You know, they were holding back their feelings, being deceptive. You name it. You guys just, yeah, couldn't see eye to eye. You know, like I said, every time you tried, and he, every time you did try with this person, they just kept pushing you away. Look, look at the distance between these two people here. <laughs> it's not funny. They just kept pushing you away. And this card just shows me that this is someone that knows where they went wrong, you know, because this person looks so regretful in this card, like they regret their actions. There's guilt and regret here. Yeah, they're sorry. And this came out in reverse as well. This person, they, they don't want the conflict anymore. They want to make things up, make amends. And they want to reconcile. They want to make amends here. They regret it. Yeah, there's regret here. So this is why they want to seize, they want to seize this opportunity. This, this is what I'm saying. They're getting ready to seize to seize seize the moment here. And actually take action. You know, be assertive. Take matters into their own hands. King of one style, you know, confident. Because I feel like they're very optimistic about you. When it comes to you, I feel like they feel confident that you're you're the one for them. You know, we got Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Yeah, I feel like they feel very positive when it comes to you. They feel hopeful they're, and they're very confident. Do you know what I mean? 
this is a this is a very enthusiastic energy you know hot passionate energy this person i feel like this they are sure within themselves that you are the one for them because i feel like this is someone that may have had other options here they had you know other situations going on outside of you with someone else or even with more than one person because seven of cups is like options and choices here i feel like this was someone that had many admirers you know and they were playing the field maybe this is you know they were distracted i feel like this is why you know things just didn't really get off the ground with you guys because this person they had a lot going on whether you knew it or not i'm getting the feeling that this was uh this is someone that's good looking so they get a lot of admirers. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it looks like this person, yeah, they were busy playing the field, I guess. It looks like they were, this is the type of person that was, you know, playing the field and, you know, just exploring their options. Having one night stands meaning meaningless sex with people just yeah not taking anything seriously but then they met you <laughs> i feel like you know you're the one that really sparked something in this person here like within them you just stand out i feel like the i feel like the fact that you pull back from this person made you stand out that's what it is. Yeah, for some of you, I feel your pullback game was strong because it's like just, you just left this person hanging. We've got the hangman here. And it just, you know, just it just made this person really change their whole perspective of you. It's like, oh, hang on a minute. This one's different. She's doing something. <laughs> She or he do something that the others don't do, you know. <laughs> you pull back, you know. You stop giving them attention. You stop giving your energy and time. And you just focus on yourself. Focus on self-love. And, you know, self-worth. Yeah, because you know your worth. I feel like this person, they may, for some of you, this person may have tried to keep you as an option as well. But this is someone that likes to have options. Yeah, you know your worth. Nine of Pentacles, yes, you know, you know, option, you have self-respect, so, <laughs> and that's what's different, I mean, your self-respect just makes you more romantically attractive, because I feel like this person, you know, they're very attracted to you initially, but then, you know, your confidence, yeah, and your independence, is it makes you more attractive to this person, you know? To the point they get feelings and they're all in their feelings now. Knight of Cups in reverse. This person's all in their feelings over you, you know? They get jealous over you and everything. So we got getting to know each other. With as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So yeah, this person wants to get to know you better. Because, uh, like I said, you got their attention. You have got their attention here. Very soon, yeah. You stand out, you know, you stand out from the rest. You're different, you know. And I feel like this is what makes you more romantically attractive. So, they want to talk to you. They want to open up here. I feel like they want to express their feelings. They want to reconcile. They probably want to apologise. Want forgiveness. And they want to move on from the pain. From the past. And have a fresh start here. And I feel like this time. This person may take you seriously now. Because <laughs> you're showing this person what you're made of. You know. You're showing this person that you know your worth. And that's what's making you more attractive. We've got Ask Your Angels as well. Yeah, they can confirm. <laughs> I 
I hope this reading helps you guys. So I'll leave it here for now. See you soon.